do have a surprise. This, has, this is at a special request uh, from our, he's the, the uh, admin of our group, Bear Country, and his name is Christopher Lynn. And um, he's not big on revolvers because he doesn't own a revolver. So we had to get something that he had to make him feel more comfortable. And what we have here is a uh, AR-15 M4 uh, Bushmaster, one of the originals, not not the not the cheesy ones. This is the good one. And uh, if you'll look here, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, Huntsville, Alabama, USA, Bushmaster, and uh, it's the XM-15 E2S. And uh, the kids have been playing around with this while we were uh, practicing shooting. So let's see if it's on, on target because I can hit pretty well with this. Almost with my, uh, anybody can. Very easy to hit your target with these. All right, let's see. All right. Here we go, fellows. We are shooting, we're shooting, uh, I want to see if we're shooting 223 or 556. Five, we're shooting 556. Five, All right, here we go. Sounds like it sounds like you're uh, you're hitting a buffalo, like Boss Rootin used to say. If you're in the MMA, sounds like you're hitting a buffalo with a baseball bat. But these are really good guns. Um, they're based off the M6. They're the civilian version of the M16, and uh, of course they're a lot more progressed than the original M16, which was a complete failure. Uh, in, in, in a few wars, namely Vietnam, because everything in it was too tight. So you get a little sand in there, you don't have any wiggle room for your projectile, your case, and so on to move around. And so they're constantly breaking them down, cleaning them, and getting slaughtered by the most abundant gun in the world, which is the AK-47, which uh, the North Vietnamese were using on them. But, uh, the, the, the Bush, Bushmaster, this one here is above mil spec, which I like. If you're going to get one, I would recommend to get one at least mil spec. Because if you go under that, you know, I mean, just say, if you can't save to get there, try to. It'll be worth it. Let's see what we can do. This is free handed. And, uh, let's see what we can do on the old dog. Oh, I think that's a P Mag. Hmm, that's a Gen 2. I don't get all into that, but it, you know, they're all pretty much the same to me. This is a Gen 2. I like the camo version because eventually I'm going to get all these. I say I am uh, Sarah coated, you know, camo. I just like them. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to see what we can do next here. And uh, maybe we should shoot the little ones today. So, yeah, let's do that. 
and to uh, get your bullet back where it needs to go you just hit the lodging button right here and whoop, there it is all right let's hit the little little guys down there on the right we got two little zombies down there it's okay to say zombies right here we go the zombie on the left that just got hit. Let's shoot the zombie on the right. Do you have it zoomed in on the little zombies, Jessica, on the bottom right? And um, I know I've said it probably two or three times, but to reiterate, if you're just now joining us here at Bear Country, uh, these targets are exactly 130 yards so um, you know it makes it a little more difficult to, to hit the gong which is about the same size as Hickox which you know Hickox 45 great guy I wish I had his uh, sense of humor uh, his gong's right at 80 yards but I've seen him shoot shoot it with his 44 magnum at 230 yards so um so so we're hitting these pretty well at 130 yards let's let's venture out to 200 yards to the little zombie fellow out there and let's see if we can hit it i don't know i don't know it you know these cartridges in here you know we're using tulamo some people i used to call it tulamo but it's actually pronounced tulamo Ammo made in Russia. I've never had a misfire on my Bushmaster here. Watch me have about five today, but I've never had a misfire. So let's reach out 200 yards. You see the target way out there, and it's it's sitting down on the ground like someone has shot the chain off of it. So let's see what we can do here. We're in war. The zombies are coming at us, and we don't know what to do. that wind blowing now it's blowing from the north no wonder it's getting cold i'm gonna shoot the one at 300 jessica do you see the do you see the uh the silhouette target out there at 300 yards the white one I'm not on the gopro will the gopro pick it up it's at 300 yards it's all the way back there hanging from that red uh brace I'm going to have to move it a little to the left with the wind blowing well to the right. Now it's blowing from the north, now it's blowing from the south. It's all over. I'm just going to shoot straight. <laughs> 